Hello YouTube, uh, Matt Osborne here again. Uh, do you like my latest fashion accessory? This video is going to be me, me talking about how to use this head torch, which I normally use for running, to light portraits. My introduction to what lights I use for portraits video, I did mention that I use a head torch, and I think someone wrote in the comments, can you show the effect or can you show how this actually works in like practice? So this is a quick video, I'll quickly show you like a close-up of what the head torch is, what I use. A clip of the head torch in action and then I'll show a couple of sample images. But um, yeah, if you've already got one of these around the house for say, I think people use them for going out if they've got a big garden or for DIYing or for things like this. I did a lot of research trying to buy the best head torch for running. I've had a few previous ones in the past and waiting in the pitch black and you, you need to see where you're going. You really do need a decent light. So I would recommend this head torch amongst those I've seen online. Okay, so this is the Olight. Um, it's the head torch that I use for both running and photography. It's the same as probably every other head torch where it's got a light on the front, a battery pack on the back and a head strap. Um, this one has a power button check and it's got a micro USB charging port. So on the side you've got an on and off button, um, press once for full power, again for half power, hold and turns off. So yeah, simple bit of kit but does the job nicely. So yes, the Olight HS2 is the model I've got. And at the time of when I did all the review, reading the reviews to buy the best light I could for running, this seemed to be the best. And it was way better than all the normal brands like Cat Eye and uh, Pets, Petsful, is that how you call it? I did look at all those first. Probably another weekend wasted of reading reviews before buying a product. But I've been really happy, so that's the light. Thank <laughs> you. 